Good morning, I'm Emily Zank. Today is Monday, June 19th. Incredible images this morning out of Bellevue. This drone footage taken on Saturday by Bumblebee Productions just one day after the National Weather Service confirms two tornadoes touched down in the Nebraska town. This morning, cleanup continues in Bellevue. Many are still without power, some without their homes. 3 News Now reporter Shante Passmore is live following this story for us. Shante? Emily, this morning we are live in Haida Hills, and as you can see behind me, this house, like many others, took an enormous hit, and right now people are trying to rebuild their properties as well as their lives, and for the next coming days, much like what we've already seen so far, people are really trying to move past the wreckage here. We've heard stories of neighbor helping neighbor, strangers trying to help those affected, and a one-two punch, the first tornado, an EF1 had winds up to 110 miles per hour, traveling about three miles. The second, an EF2 began near off at Air Force Base and traveled more than nine miles, hitting Haida and Normandy Hills, crossing the Missouri River and ending before reaching Glenwood in Iowa. And right now, Bellevue officials say streets are passable. They are encouraging people to take advantage of the tree drop off areas. And starting tomorrow, city and county public works will work together to uh, pick up curbside pickup for tree debris. Live in Bellevue, Shantae Passmore, 3 News Now this morning.